guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to my channel, to my wonderland and to our coffee times together. Today I went to Star Hollows just to get Luke's coffee and today I'm here to talk to you about the July movie releases. It's coffee time! On the 2nd of July, we finally get Spider-Man Far From Home, which is an American superhero movie based on the Marvel comics and the character Spider-Man. It is going to be a direct sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming that came out in 2017 and it is also going to be the 23rd movie, so the 23rd installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Tom Holland returns to be Peter Parker slash Spider-Man and he is growing more and more in my heart especially after the Avengers movies I think that he's going to be now my favorite Spider-Man forever just because you gotta love this kid. So the plot for this movie it's a spoiler for Endgame so as Tom Holland which is ironic that actually he advised people that spoilers were coming when he's the one always spoiling everything. If you don't trust me, go ahead and go to YouTube and type in Tom Holland spoilers or something like that because it is hilarious to see how many times he messed up. So warning, you're gonna hear something that spoils Endgame. Alright, so this movie basically takes place after Endgame, so basically Peter Parker is very sad because his mentor Tony Stark passed away and uh, fun fact when they were going to do the scene of the funeral of Endgame they told Tom Holland that he was going to attend a wedding <laughs> that's how much they do not trust this kid so anyways in this movie we're just following the events after Endgame so he's very sad because Tony Stark died and he goes with his classmates to a, a trip to Europe and while he's there he gets a visit by Nick Fury that asks him for help because the evil Mysterio is back and I am dying to see Jake Gyllenhaal in this role it's an actor that I think is a little bit underrated to be honest and I don't think he has had that many amazing roles as he deserves but he's had also great movies like Donnie Darko and Zodiac I love them so I'm glad to see him now in this role and I'm super excited to see what they did with the movie on the 12th of July we have Stuber and this is an American action comedy film and to be honest the reason why I'm really excited about this movie is because Dave Bautista is in it and I really like him together with him is Mira Sorvino and there is this comedian I'm gonna have to read his name because else I'm gonna butcher it he's Kumail Nanjiani so uh, this trio embark in this action-packed movie and I think it's gonna be a really fun one because Dave Bautista can really do comedy you can see that also in Guardians of the Galaxy so it's basically this uber driver that gets himself somehow in the middle of a police arrest or something like that and he has to try to keep on working his uber and keeping people happy uh, while he's in this kind of police intercate and it's going to be I think hilarious um, the trailer looks really great I'm not such a huge fan of comedies but I think I'm gonna like this one so if you love action comedies get ready for this also on the 12th we have crawl which is an American disaster horror film um, and I'm really curious to see what they did with this one the main plot is that there's basically a, a category 5 hurricane and the town needs to be evacuated but there is this girl called Hailey and she um, ignores this because she wants to go and rescue her dad and by doing that they get themselves kind of trapped and they discover these uh, waters where the alligators are coming out to try also to survive from the uh, hurricane and I guess it's gonna be a fight against the alligators so alligator movies can be a hit or a miss <laughs> 
but they are very fitting for the summer season because you always associate alligators with water um, not sure if I'm gonna check this one out in the cinema I'm not even sure if they're gonna show it here because where I live they only show like bigger movies but if they do I might even give it a try on the 19th of July we have the Lion King and the trailer looked so good it is an animated drama musical and it's going to be a direct remake from the Disney 1994 movie so we're gonna follow the same characters the same story it's just gonna be basically copy frame by frame and the trailer looks like they are respecting the story and the characters so much and it just gave me chills and I'm probably gonna cry in the cinema because we all know what happens with Mufasa on the 26th of July we have this black comedy drama called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. Now he has not done a movie in a while so I am super excited to see what he has done with this one. It has big names in it like Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt so I'm, I'm super stoked because it's going to be based also on some darker side from the Hollywood um, scene. This movie is set in the 90s 1960s in Los Angeles when a television actor that is aging obviously and his stunt uh, actor they are trying to make a living in Hollywood and I am hoping that it's really gonna show all the darker sides on the industry and how aging affects your career um, even though in the 60s I, I don't think it was as bad as it is today um, but I'm super curious to see what Quentin Tarantino did because he is blandly honest with this kind of things um, so I'm super excited and probably it's also gonna have some really nice dark jokes and comedy then we have the field guide to evil and this is a tricky one because this is a compilation of stories of horror stories that came out in 2018 but apparently it was not released everywhere so um, in these 26th of July it's going to be available in the UK and also in the US so basically is some um, eight different short movies by eight different directors from totally different countries so basically we're getting um, eight stories from folklore uh, from some myths that come from these different countries so the countries are Hungary Austria, Germany, Greece, India, Poland, Turkey, and the United States. Um, so I'm super excited to watch this one. I actually didn't know that this came out in 2018. I missed it and I'm always interested to know more about the myths and the lore and all of these stories. And also these stories, you know, the myths, the lore, the folklore, these are the base, the basics for many other horror movies that came after that are loosely or completely based in these myths so I'm super interested to check this one out another one that I am super excited about is Bram's The Boy and this is going to be an American horror movie that it is a direct sequel to The Boy and um, this time we are getting Katie Holmes in the main role The Boy was a movie from 2016 that I absolutely loved I know some people didn't but I did um, I just love that it was different and I personally love movies with dolls I know they tend to be crappy but there's something about creepy dolls that I adore and I've always loved them so I am so excited about this one so in the new movie we're basically getting a brand new family that moves into the house that we got to see in the first movie and they have a young son and he's the one that discovers this doll Brams and befriends the doll um, and obviously after this uh, weird thing started to happen so I'm super excited to see what they did with this one because knowing how the first movie ended which I don't want to reveal it in case somebody has not watched it but after that ending I really wonder how they're going to approach this new movie so I'm super excited to see what they did and these are some interesting movies that are coming to you to your cinema in July 2019 now this is not all of them so if you have any that you would specifically you know want me to watch because you think it's something I'm gonna like or any other favorite one of yours that is coming out in the month of July let me know in the comments down below 
Thank you so much for watching and please remember to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me. Please also subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss any more coffee times with me. And if you have Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and you want to follow me in any of these social medias, the links are in the description down below. And I hope to see you all in the next coffee time. Bye!